Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy. Good to see you guys again today. We're going to dive right in and we're going to do the uh, short Bible study of Job 23, 10. Uh, and let me just have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just ask that you would help continue to sink these words and your message into the hearts and souls of all brothers and sisters in Christ. These things that I have been teaching will not work for the unsaved, but for the saved only. The unsaved must get saved. And I pray, dear Lord, that they would continue to listen to this Bible study, that they would yearn, that they would desire for you to enter into their lives, and that they would want to surrender their souls and vessels into your hands and to become saved by the end of this Bible study that they would want to hear from you, that they would want a life with you. And those brothers and sisters, Lord, that have been living righteous and then unrighteous and then righteous and then unrighteous, they're cold and warm and then they're hot and then they're cold and warm again. And I just, I pray, Lord, help them to be steady and balanced into being hot and to have a love relationship with you in the early morning before they get out of bed, as they get out of bed, get on their knees, those that can, those that cannot, that are disabled and handicapped, you know which ones they are. They have bad knees or whatever the circumstance may be. Help them, Lord, to bow down in their hearts, those that cannot bow on their personal knees. But those that can, you are worthy alone, O oh Lord, for us to bow down and to worship you and to call upon your name and to surrender our souls and vessels into your hands. Help my brothers and sisters and sink these messages deep in their hearts and souls. Help them to rewind the videos, go over them again, and go over the snare of the devil, Lord. I pray that you would help them to surrender their hearts, their souls, their vessels, and even their flesh into your hands their nature to sin. I pray that they'd surrender that into your hands, that you alone, Lord Jesus, have power uh, to come into their lives and deliver them from their sin nature and to help change their choices that they make on a daily basis and deliver them from the snare of the devil. I praise you and thank you. Bless your word now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. All right, brothers and sisters. So we're going to read Job uh, 23, verse 10. But he knows the way I take when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. See, brothers and sisters, the Lord God wants to purify you as silver and test you and try you with various trials. Does that mean he'll allow your sins to come in your life or around you? Yes, it, it means that. Okay, so now we're going to go to Psalms 91. Uh, okay, hold on just a second. There's some love scripture there. Um, and so the Lord wants you to know that because you love him, he has some scripture for you to meditate on day and night. We should meditate on Psalms 91 because Psalms 91 is actually going to be fulfilled in these last eight years. Um, the last seven, yes, more so than this next year. But this next year will be a beginning taste of horrifying things that are going to come. Because does not the Lord God say um, he had someone write the scripture, and when they wrote Revelation 6, this is their comment that they put in my Bible. The sixth seal, Terra. It's going to be a living terror for the ungodly, for the backslider, for those that are warm or cold. It is going to be terror. Okay? So now let's just talk about the love of God. It says, uh, uh, Psalms 91, verses 14, 15, and 16. Because he has loved me, therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Guys, you have to be obedient no matter what temptation comes your way. 
You know, the scripture says that we should cut off our hand or pluck out our eye uh, if we uh, allow the members of our body to offend the Lord and we become sinful and unrighteous. So is he saying that physically we should do that, pluck out our eye and physically cut off our hand? No, he's saying to do it spiritually. Spiritually, you should make an act to cut off the hand that sins against the Lord. In other words, smack it, get it to behave itself. You are in control with the Lord, with the Holy Spirit. You have the power through the Lord Jesus Christ to stop sinning, stop overeating, stop gossiping, stop drinking uh, alcohol excessively, stop taking drugs, stop masturbating, stop committing adultery, uh, stop watching porn. You have the, the power within you through the Lord Jesus Christ to say, I don't want to do that because I know it's unrighteous in the eyes of the Lord and I want to be holy. Be ye holy for I am holy. Now then, there's days coming, guys. Um, it says uh, in... You will not... Uh, I'm going to read Psalms 91, verse 5, 6, and 7. Okay? It says, You will not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrows that flies by day. The arrows being bombs. The arrows being the torment of the principalities, the demonic realm. Uh, Satan and the fallen angels. Um, you won't um, be afraid of the terror by night. This is why he's sifting you now, guys, is that we need to be ready for the three days of darkness. We need to be ready for the power of Satan to rise upon the earth stronger than what it is now. So it is the Lord's will that he tests you, try you, like silver, like gold. But some of you have dropped the ball, is what the Lord is showing me, that these warnings have been going out as early as, um, uh, you know, the, the strong ones, the firm ones. They've been going out, poured out like water uh, since um, 2018. But there has been some that have been poured out before that. But all the firm ones and the gathering of more and more brothers and sisters as they realized the Lord was going to use them, like myself. He's been working on me since uh, 2012 and 2013. He started giving me dreams and showing me things. So anyway, it says also in verse 6, of, uh, So you will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, which is bombs, which is the principalities, which is the demonic realm of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. Now, I, I strongly believe because of some of the prophecies that Mary has given, and there's been others, they keep mentioning the word 12 noon. Like war is going to break out on one day at 12 noon. We don't know if it's 12 noon New York time. I think it will be, but it could be 12 noon at another city or another state's time. I don't know for sure. And then it says, a thousand may fall at your si right at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. This is the hit of the sword coming through the land, and the sword and the Lord's word means war. So, but it shall not approach you. Do you believe that? It shall not approach you. Uh, so, you will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near to your tent. For he will give you his angels' charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, you, the, long, the young lion and the serpent, you will trample down. So you must keep these scriptures in your heart, your soul, your mind, and keep your shoulder faith up, keep seeking the Lord, and fast from your addictions, fast from TV. If you cannot fast from food because of medications, but it is good to fast from food, for hours on end or two or three days 
And if you do it every week, before you know it, you'll realize that after days go by, that you'll be able to fast for more days and more days and more days, and you will not be hungry. There's something about the third day, the hunger pains are taken away, and your body continues to work on all the stored up fat. So if you're wanting to lose weight, fasting is a good thing. It absolutely cleanses your mind, your, your arteries, your blood vessels. Uh, it cleanses your uh, stomach. It cleanses your intestines. It gets out any and all debris. The, I've done a study on uh, fasting for the body. The enzymes, the healthy enzymes that the Lord God put in your body will begin to cleanse boils and cysts, pus built up in the body, no matter where it's at. Uh, it will begin to cleanse cholesterol, uh, fatty tissues. It will begin to eat and break them down and cleanse them from your body and rid them from your body. Infections, uh, even diseases and tumors. Your enzymes won't have no food to eat. So I've learned that when you don't have any food in your body, these healthy enzymes began to seek and search their scavengers. They seek and search for infection and built up debris in the body. This is their job. They're little agents that <clears throat> purify and cleanse the inside of your body. Anyway, I hope this Bible study has helped. Uh, I want to continue to encourage each and every one of you to do a ministry in your home, even if you start with one, two, or three people. Get them to help bring a little bit of foods, desserts, drinks, uh, maybe a tray of vegetables or olives or pickles uh, or even maybe some snack food uh, that you guys can partake in, chips and dip. And <clears throat> use these ministry channels that you, all, you guys have all been watching, uh, <clears throat> like Ladder Rain 333, spelled like an email, all together. <clears throat> Mike444. Uh, there's a space in between Mike and 444. Holy Spirit Win is spelt like a, a an email. Every le every word in that has a capital with the beginning and lowercase and in, in all in between. Um, has a lot of prophecies. Uh, Jesus in Georgia, Danielle's channel. Uh, she's got a lot of things that the Lord has shown her. Mary, God's handmaiden. Her name is God's Handmaiden for her channel, but her name is Mary as far as the young lady that does that channel. But type in God's Handmaiden. She also has a church channel for her and her husband, and that's Lighting the Way Ministries, and she does a ministry every night of prayer and church service uh, at 6 p.m., but you can watch it at any time. And then there's a Servant's Heart, and that's Betty. And uh, these are channels that I watch faithfully on and off, and uh, the Lord has shown me that they are um, true brothers and sisters and that the warnings that they're giving, many of them have matched things that the Lord has shown me since I've been watching them for several years now. Uh, so I want to encourage you to use these channels um, to help these brothers and sisters understand about the vaccines and the many prophecies that have been given and the many things that are coming. Uh, we must get our ministry started now, brothers and sisters, uh, and, you know, help your friends, help your dear close family members to come over and have a fellowship with you and just try to get them to understand. And then as you get them to understand, ask them, is there anyone that they would like to invite the, to the next fellowship? And if you are able, do a fellowship more than once or twice a week if you don't have a job. Uh, we must be busy at work and get these people to understand these things before the power goes down that the Lord might save them from getting the vaccination. So uh, do all that you can with all your heart and soul. Try and reach them. I love you. I have to go to work now and I will do another Bible study um, tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be resting for the rest of today. And I, my two off days are Thursday and Friday this week, two days together. Um, and so I've got a really weird schedule this week and long hours um, to between that and doing things here at my camp for the ministry. 
Uh, I've got to get the garden in the ground so we can get the fall garden going. Anyway, I love you. Continue to pray for us. If you'd like to make a donation to our channel and help the Lord's work here and get this camp up and going and buy the things we need for the people that will be coming when the riots break out, uh, please go to the About section. Uh, and this is for those of the, you that can afford to do it. I'm not asking anyone that's having a hard time uh, to do that. I too am having a hard time, but I try and give the Lord what I can out of my paycheck to buy for this camp uh, on a weekly basis uh, because that's part of my tithe and we should do that, guys. We should give unto these places that are worthy uh, of the Lord's finances. If you have a church that's not really acting like they're being woke up and they're not talking about the end times, I would be very careful about continuing to give your finances to such a church. All you're doing is fattening their wallet, you're fattening their little programs within the church, and they're not ministering to outside the church. They're not uh, doing revival. They're not inviting the world in and waking them up and telling them they need to repent and get right before the Lord because He's coming soon. If they're not doing that, then you're tithing is not being honored unto the Lord and you really need to be careful about that. You're giving to these ministries to just fatten their pockets and pay their, their bills, but yet the church is so broken in those churches. They're not doing uh, prayer um, seminars. They're not bringing the church together and breaking them up in threes and, and making the Lord's house a house of prayer. Um, they're believing that this virus is uh, from God. They're not believing that the vaccine is unhealthy. They don't know the truth. And so be careful about where your tithes are going, brothers and sisters. Um, but anyway, um, the Lord has helped me to meet Mary, God's handmaiden. She's going to have a camp for the Lord. Jesus and Georgia, ja Danielle, she's also going to have a camp for the Lord. I'm going to have a camp for the Lord. But also the Lord God is going to, in 2021, began to purchase the properties and he's going to build these underground churches. The question is, is do you want to be a part of it? And are you willing to deny yourself all your addictions, surrender your heart, your soul, your vessel, and your flesh into the Lord's hands and let him break you of your addictions? You don't have the power on your own. So that's what these Bible studies are for, to help you to get closer connected to the Lord, not warm, not cold, but hot. That means you want to speak with the Lord daily. You want to get on your knees. You desire to have more of an intimate time with Him. You desire to make changes in your life. You desire for Him to break your sin nature. Anyway, i got to let you go for now. This is a little bit longer than what I wanted, but it's worth it. Uh, again, World War III is not yet as of this month. Uh, but the Lord said that soon and very soon the cities will burn down. You need to put the Lord first, and you need to pray about where He would have you move to. And you need to get your spirits right and surrender your soul, your vessel, into His hands so you can hear from Him. But you should have already heard from Him before these riots break out. You should already know to be out of these big cities. Does not His Scripture say over and over and over to be in a wilderness area? That means you need to rent an apartment, get an RV, get a travel trailer, a mobile home, whatever. Uh, rent a motel room until you can get settled and get in these areas and get jobs and be ready to help volunteer and support these camps. Whether you live on the campsite or not, um, it is good to be with fellow believers. It is good to help at the camps. It's good to help with the garden work, the mowing, the raking, the praying, the fellowship, the worship service that you can have together. It's good. So anyway, I love you. Peace out for now. I praise the Lord for your support and your help. I praise the Lord that you are going to start a ministry soon and very soon. Think about it. Pray about it. And begin to seek and search in your, your connection with your family and your friends. Who could you minister to? Or maybe it's even your sons and daughters. Maybe you need to do a believer's ministry with them and then start reaching out to others. I love you guys. I got to go. Love you. Have a great day. And just um, surrender your heart, your soul, your vessel, and your flesh and let His power help you break those sin habits. 
you, you can't do it, but he can. You, but you have to be saved for this Bible study to help you. I will come with a plan of salvation soon or very soon, but stick to it. If you're hungry and thirsty for the Lord God, keep watching these Bible studies until we get to the last video, and then these things will work in your life. I love you.